Hello guys, uh, it's James here from JVC Paints. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about my Winter German Armies, plural. Um, so uh, first up I'm going to show you the early Winter Germans that I've just sort of completed really recently. Um, I had the big game, the Battle of Berlin game that came in, so I didn't get to show you these guys. Uh, and then I'm going to go through the older army that I've shown before, probably about a year or two ago. And then there, I built some redundancy into the armies too, so uh, certain units can be used. Uh, in both. So, um, starting off here, we've got uh, Stug. This is a uh, the early one. I think this is a, an a B uh, or an A. One of the two. Anyway, um, it's a Tamiya kit. It's a 148. Okay, lucky number 13, as you can see. Um, I did the hairspray technique for the winter camo. So, basically, I finished the tank, did everything I needed to do on the tank, uh, coated it with hairspray, um, and then uh, after that dried for a day or so, um, I hit it with the airbrush and did some white on it. And then uh, after that dried, I went back over it with uh, uh, warm water and a toothbrush and basically scrubbed that white paint right off of it. And it gives it this sort of technique, uh, pardon me, this uh, appearance of being sort of, you know, really sort of hack, lack, blah, blah, what's the word I'm looking for? Haphazard. That was the word. Haphazard uh, winter camo that you see sometimes in photos from World War II. Um, but yeah, this is the Stug. Um, so this is the armored support for, uh, well, let's turn it all the way around so you can see the other side of it as well. Um, this is the, the support for uh, my early war winter Germans. Um, one of the first units I did that was for redundancy for both armies. Um, this is a new one for me. Uh, I've probably done about nine or ten of these things. I hope it comes in focus. I don't know if it will or it won't. Oh, come on, please focus. There we go. Okay, it's a bit better. Um, this is the uh, motorcycle MMG. This is a Tamiya kit. I swapped out the MG. Um, the Tamiya stuff is very, very fragile, so uh, it's not so good. But for me, the Tamiya stuff is very, very cheap. And uh, now that Warlords decided to jack their prices up by 30 40% in some cases, um, I'll probably be using a lot more Tamiya vehicles uh, or be using a lot more vehicles. Anyway, um, this is, uh, yeah, it's just 48 points, regular. You can't uh, lose with this thing. It's really awesome. Um, your, your opponents will hate it. Um, and then we get on to the Winter Army, the actual guys themselves. Um, what I decided to do here is I've got uh, three squads of eight men, and I, I did some officers here. Um, so basically, these are early war winter Germans, so the squads are very, very vanilla. Um, in the front here, we have an NCO, uh, as you can see, with an uh, MP40. We've got the LMG, which is an MG34. And one great thing about this kit is um, they actually make the MGs where they're firing them. Uh, recently, Warlord has decided that, oh, we don't want to have anybody firing their MG42s. They all got to be slung, which is I don't like. So, <laughs> strike two against Warlord. Price increase number one, slung MG42s is strike two. Uh, and then just riflemen in the back. So, we've got uh, three squads like that. Um, I've endeavored to sort of, you know, do the national shields with some of the helmets and then do the winner sort of, again, the haphazard. That was the word I was looking for, winter camo and some of the other ones. And a couple of them do have the sort of cloth colorings and stuff like that. But uh, they turn out pretty well. Great kit. Um, probably one of my favorite uh, newer ones that they, they've pumped out recently. A lot better than the Falls from Jaeger. A lot better than the SS ones as well. And here we also have redundancy as well. Not 100% redundancy. Uh, for an early war winner German army, of course, you can't have the Panzer Shrek. Um, they would be out. But you, you can't have the Medic. You can't have a Flamethrower. And you can't have a Sniper. Um, next to them, um, over here, I, these are the Artisan guys I've done. Um, I had a pack of 10 Artisan. Oh, let me get my hand in there for a second. 10 Artisan uh, Winter Germans. Um, these are late wear Winter Germans. Um, the MG is a MG42, and we have a Faust there, but there aren't any uh, STG44s. So, um, ideally, what I could do is, if I'm doing an early war gen war Winter German Army, pardon me, uh, I can uh, ditch the, MG, the, the Panzer Faust here. I can put the uh, flamethrower guys in here and then maybe, you know, make a, a small sort of eight-man sort of uh, pioneer unit or assault battalion, assault unit or something like that. Um, what I also did, because, and I'll get to my late war winter Germans in a second, is from the this winter German kit, I made two MG42s, and you can see they're slung. Um, uh, in this case, I gave the guy the STG44 just so I know that, I'll, you know, he's not, a, he's not in this group. Um, so basically... Uh, the reason I did that is if I wanted to play a late war game um, and I could make units, you know, uh, with the correct weapon. Um, because, uh, I'll get to, you'll see my late war guys in a second here. Um, I'll just get to it right now. Uh, I think it's th this one. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Is it this one? No, it's this one. It's this one. It's this one. Sorry, go. Sorry, 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 sorry. So this MG42 unit got completely mashed up in my uh, box one day. 
and the head came off, the gun got all bent out of shape and stuff like that. So I decided, okay, well, I need something that's a little bit more friendly to transport, so I went with those guys. So, But continuing with the redundancy, i um, got a hand mag here. Um, very, very cool. It's, again, it's a Tamiya. This thing it moves, it rotates. I've pinned it, so it's cool. Uh, we've got a uh, MG team. It is an MG42, but, eh, you know, whatever. You do have to give yourself some leeway, I guess. Um, we've got a medium mortar team with a spotter as well um, for the late war Germans. And then, of course, we have the Panther in the back. Uh, which is a which is a beast in itself, um, and then we've got the two squads of ten, and these guys they've got like four or five fouls each, um, and also we've got the the, the commanders here uh, in the front with their MP40. So um, these guys could also still be used for you know officers in, in an early war Jim, German army. Um, so there's enough fouls and stuff like that, and, and and enough STG44s, which I'm not really a big fan of recently, that I can sort of mix and match. Um, the focus is kind of losing me here anyway guys this is it this is a short one for me today um thanks very much for watching i've been watching the videos i've been trying to uh trying to um uh comment as much as i can but with work and stuff like that recently i i i've been kind of bogged down um and uh i haven't had as much time as, as i usually do so uh, but yeah and then i've also had a, a little another three or four subscribers have, have joined the channel which is great thank you very very much so yeah guys have a great weekend uh, keep those brushes moving, and uh, we'll, we'll check you later. All right, take care, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.